online at consumerqb.com. All right. Welcome back here. Brandon Rimes, Consumer Quarterback Show. Coming up, Patrick Hyland. Uh, we're going to talk about Medicare and veterans uh, issues as well uh, coming up here on the program. And he's also host of the Sports Guys. He's got a weekend show here on the 860 The Answer Uh couple of hot listings for this segment as well. We'd like to feature our properties as a strategy to help sellers sell faster. Uh, 3864 50th Avenue South in St. Petersburg. Another one of our beautiful real estate listings here in Tampa Bay. This one is a fully remodeled uh, uh, property here. Three bedrooms, two bath, two car garage, 1659 square feet. The bathroom's been updated. Kitchen features stainless steel appliances, tiled and backsplash with an island. Uh, you also have a patio overlooking the backyard. And you're a block away from the recently renovated Maximo Marina and famous Tiki Docks. And, of course, close to the beaches as well. 3864 50th Avenue South in St. Petersburg. Another hot listing from the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. All right, we've got a uh, property here at Gulf City Road, 2817 Gulf City Road. If you're looking for vacant land, I've got a lot of vacant land listings, about a dozen or so vacant land parcels. Uh, this one's 23 acres on the Little Manatee River uh, on Ruskin, Hillsborough County, 2817 Gulf City Road. Deep water access direct to the Gulf of Mexico. Motivated seller can be subdivided into multiple lots. Great opportunity to own real estate here in Tampa Bay. And you can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. And let's give a quick shout out to the Bill Maher Beach Resort as well, the official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. The beautiful Bill Maher Beach Resort, Treasure Island, Florida. Say hello to Clyde Smith, general manager. Let another real estate quarterback sent you. Book directly, BillMaherBeachResort.com. And say hello to the team over there for us. All right, going to the phone lines here. We've got Patrick Highland. Uh, Patrick, welcome back to the program. Good afternoon, Brandon. How are you this fine day? Yeah, brother. I am uh, blessed and highly favored, man. Blessed and highly favored. What are you seeing out there? Well, I'll tell you, it's funny. I was at a uh, veterans event uh, helping empower them. You know, a lot of them are homeless, a lot of them are disabled, and they're trying to get by. And, uh, you know, you don't realize and appreciate how well you have it, Brandon, until you see somebody else not have it as well as you. Yeah. And it's very important. I know we, you and I both speak about doing random act of kindness for individuals. Well, that, that's the way to do it. So that's uh, just something, you know, that I've done, and uh, I appreciate all the support out there for our veterans. You know, too many of them uh, commit suicide, Brandon, and it needs to stop. Uh, you know, 22 a day, and that, and that doesn't count the uh, drug overdoses. They don't count that as a suicide, and, and more times than not, it is. Wow. A few times it's not. So it's just not good, and we've got to get it worked on and, and help these veterans out, and that's what it's all about. So. Is, is there also a lot of time, Patrick, is there, is there a lot of times that they don't know how to even access or have access to the technology, the computer systems, or uh, to, to be able to access some of their benefits? Very much so, and that's where I could be of help, Brandon. If you don't mind, let me give out my phone number, 813-966-1052. It's a simple number, 813-966-1052. That's my direct cell line. Any veterans out there listening, if you need help with either, if you serve during wartime, you know, there's so many benefits out there for you. And you didn't have to set foot on the ground where the war was, just if you were doing service during that time. And they don't realize, like you said, Brandon, how much help they can get out there. But if you don't get it on the computer, you don't, you don't fill out the paperwork for it, you're not going to get it. No one's going to be out there looking for them, unfortunately. You know, we'll send money all over the world, but we won't take care of our own vets, Brandon. It makes no sense to me. Yeah, yeah, it's very frustrating to see it, especially what's going on now uh, in the Middle East. Yeah. And, you know, due to the, the bad leadership, feckless leadership out of D.C., it's just, it's it's pretty saddening and sickening all at once. It really is, Brandon. You, know, you said it perfectly. No, well, you know, there's just so many things about the vets. A lot of veterans use the VA for their health care, but they have Medicare A and B and they never, you know, go get C and D because they think they're taking care of at Bay Pines or Haley 
And that's fine, but why not get additional benefits that isn't going to cost you anything? Again, though, you have to give me a call at 813 966 1052 Patrick Island, and you know we'll sit down, go over everything with you, and see what you know you can uh, apply for. And more times than not, um, I get, I help out nine out of ten. Brandon, there's always that one out of ten that just nothing I can do, and that's just life. But uh, I'll keep trying ten out of ten and do the best I can for them, either with their health insurance, their doctor's visits, you know, home health care. Assisted living, independent living. There's just a lot of things out there for them. And the biggest thing is with Medicare season starting up here, Brandon, this Sunday, October the 15th till December the 7th, people have their open enrollment time to investigate all the insurance companies out there and to make a choice for the new year. So I behoove everybody to do that and look and see what's the best option for them, Brandon. So. Yeah, and, it, and it's an open season, so this is it has to happen during that that window. Otherwise, you're you're kind of stuck in whatever situation you're at. Is that right? That's correct, Brandon. Now, some people do qualify for special election periods, or people that are going to turn sixty five. You know, during this time, they still get a few months after to make choices. So there's always some you know avenues, but this is the best time to do it really then you can start the new year fresh see all the new plans start fresh and new for the new year and then if you're happy you stay put if you're not you could you know you might fall under a special election period like this past year brandon when those hurricanes you know they didn't touch down here in tampa bay but since they did touch the coast and cause some issues they gave people a little uh, a window to to apply for additional medicare benefits which was nice you know yeah. Any way to make it easier for them, let's do it. Yeah, um, that's right. Her- yeah, so. folks, if you just joined us, we're talking with Patrick Highland. He's a uh, Medicare expert. He works with veterans benefits as well. Health insurance uh, can help you with, with a lot of it. And, and I think it's a situation, Patrick, where you know they don't know what they don't know in a, in a lot of situations. Can you give us a success story, uh, uh, maybe a recent success story where you've, you've helped someone and you were able to kind of paint a picture for us what you're looking at? Yeah, uh, you know, um, the other day I was helping out a vet, you know. Um, he's going to have to go into an assisted living facility. He's getting some home health care. You know, I was able to get him Medicaid, number one. Number two, he served during the Vietnam era. So he'll be entitled to $1,900 to help him out with the assisted living facility. So he'll be able to find a nice one, Brandon. That's the key. You know, now the vets out there who didn't serve during wartime, I can still help them out. We're just not going to be able to get all those funds for them. But we'll still find them a decent, you know, facility to go to. I don't want them going into a, you know, kennel. No pun intended, you know. I don't like when they do that to these people. It's not cool. You know, I'm not going to be able to get them the Taj Mahal, but I'll still be able to help them out. Drug costs are through the roof now, Brandon. There's different avenues for that. Sometimes it's good to go to the VA, and sometimes it's good to go outside of it just depending on what you need. There's a lot of other benefits, dental, vision, that these guys don't even realize they can get. The biggest thing is having Medicare A and B. Here's another success story, Brandon, bringing that up. A gentleman just had Medicare Part A. He said, Patrick, if I get you know, Medicare Part B, now it's going to cost me $200 a month. And I go, I understand. Well, Patrick, I can't afford that. Again, I said, I understand. I'm going to get you $165 back for that. So you're going to be charged $35 for the Part B out of your Social Security check. But I'm also going to get you $100 a month, okay, to use for groceries and over-the-counter items. So you're $65 to the good when it's all said and done. And you have access to other doctors, access to other pharmacies, and some ancillary benefits from from a health uh, club membership to eyeglasses, hearing aids, and uh, dental insurance. So that's what people don't realize. They they think, I can't handle the, the Part B premium, Brandon, but if there's a way to get it back, then you can, and it makes sense. But again, it's what you said. I like that saying, what you don't know, how can you do anything with it? Right. Yeah, Very absolutely. 
Yeah, and um, you also have your sports talk show on the weekends. You got your uh, sports talk with Patrick uh, Highland yeah. on the eleven a.m. Eleven a.m. on Sundays. We have a good time, Brandon. You know, uh, this station is the home of the Florida Gators. I ran into a veterans organization, and they were like, "Hey, your station is the one that." Hey, covers the Gators. I'm like, yes, it is. Yeah. It's good to hear, you know, recognize that. They go, well, we didn't know you were on from 11 to 12 on Sunday. So I said, yeah, we talk about the Gators and all the other college teams and, you know, all the pro teams. So we have a lot of fun with that. And yeah. then we do, obviously, I do insurance commercials and, you know, uh, veterans commercials on the show to let people know how they can get a hold of me and how I can be of help branded. Awesome. So, well, so good really stuff, man. man. Uh, final thought. Back to you, Patrick. Bob, just thanks for letting me be on the air with you. Um, how about you come on the air with me Sunday? I, I like that one listing you talked about. That's a pretty part of St. Petersburg, and you're right about the vacant land out there. That's good for people to, you know, invest in and uh, build their own house. It's not a bad way to go nowadays, so it's pretty cool. And uh, just uh, please give me a call, anybody listening, if I can be of assistance, 813 966 one zero five two. Brandon, God bless you and the audience. Look forward to talking to you and seeing you soon. Thank you, sir. Likewise, right back at you, Patrick. All right, that's Patrick Highland. Yeah, reach out and support the local economy by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show and all of our expert contributors. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, we're taking a quick break. Coming back, we got Alex Black Belt Lima on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to talk about self defense, martial arts, and a little bit of current politics, things happening out there in the world. Uh, so stay with us right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Follow us online at CQB Show, at Brandon Rhymes1 on Instagram, and of course, YouTube forward slash Brandon Rhymes Realty. We'll be right back. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. 